Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. We're going to part 36, so let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Stairway to the Destined Duel. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com Okay, spells are prohibited, so I only got monsters and traps. I also took out some monsters that had something to do with spells, and traps like Magic Jammer and Imperial Order are out. Unless my opponent uses spells, and what's the point? But I'm pretty sure I can manage all the same. I don't need spells. All I need are some good monsters and some decent traps. And it looks like I'm taking on Odeon. Alright then, so be it. Hmm. What should I start with? I'll probably set this as bait. And I'll use any of these two cards. Ah, Vorse Raider, eh? Alright then, then I'll activate Widespread Ruin. There, now your Vorse Raider is no more. He thinks it would be a bad idea to bring in Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon now. Because there's a lot of traps here. The best thing I can do is try to activate as many as possible. to get that out of the way, then well, it's smooth sailing. So I don't think I should summon a monster. Actually, it'd be a good idea to do so right now. Okay, there was a trap hole. Sadly, I don't have Call of the Haunted, so I can't bring my monsters back. Ah, I'll use Torrential Tribute now. It's no good to lower his life points when that monster is still around. Uh, I'll set this face down. End my turn. Great, another trap. Yeah, I'll summon Kaisu the Ghost Destroyer. Take out that face down card. Uh, you had a magic cylinder of your own. Impressive. Ooh, summon Skull. Eh, I'd rather destroy you rather than lower your life points with magic cylinder. Damn, his entire hand is gone. Okay, I got this for a little bit of insurance. <sighs> Mirror Force. As long as he goes through all of his uh, card destroying mo traps, then Ultimate Dragon should be wide open. I think now I'll use Magic Cylinder. Ah, seven tools of the bandit. Or at least I can destroy that monster anyway. Ah, no traps. That gives me an opening. One that I've been looking for for a long time. This could be very risky all the same, considering I'm down to 1,200 life points. But anything to get me get myself ahead. There, now it's looking really close. I got Mask of Darkness to bring a trap back. Oh good, that was a monster. I'll set this face down. At this point, yeah, I'm better off putting this face down again. I'm gonna have to have Ultimate Dragon attack this monster. Ah, Mask of Darkness. I 
torrential tribute. Knowing him, he'll lay it out the next turn, so I better not summon a monster. Practical to probably put Ultimate Dragon in defense mode. And let Cyberstein do the attack. See? Because of widespread ruin, Cyberstein was destroyed instead of Ultimate Dragon. Because it was in defense mode. Better not be another widespread ruin. Even if it is, it don't matter. Ah, because I got this! Jinzo! That was just the card I needed. There I win! Ha <laughs> ha! Not be able to use any magic or traps? This should be very interesting indeed. I can only use monsters. Alright, let's go find that duel then. Okay, with no spells and traps, this could end up being the most difficult one there is. Wow, this is not going to be easy by any means. I just hope I get the right draw. Alright, from what I heard, this is technically Mai's deck. So don't hold back on her. Uh, I better summon Lejin in attack mode. Good thing I brought in some effect monsters that can take out face down cards. Because, yeah, she is not limited to them at all. Alright, then I'll just sacrifice my Lejin to bring in Jinzo. Let's see what she got. She doesn't really have a lot of effect monsters, though. Maybe Cyber Harpy, Harpy's Pet Dragon, Harpy's Lady Sisters, cards like that. As long as I don't get dealt with a spell card, I'll be alright. Alright, this is just what I needed. Uh, I better summon Giant Red Sea Snake to the field. Usually, her monsters have low defense points, too. Like that. As long as I stay on that footing, I'll be alright. A rising air current could give me issues. Let's hope that doesn't come into play yet. So far, it isn't. This is one of those duels where you can get beat by a very bad draw, or her very good draw. Easily beat. You have nothing to defend you except your monsters. She can use whatever she wants. Therefore, you have to be very lucky. Beatdown cards are not enough. If you don't have enough wind cards, too. Ah, dark hole. That just might ruin everything. Uh, at least I got Bazoo the Soul Eater. Yeah, but now traps can come back into play. How many monsters do I have in the graveyard? Oh, it looks like it's four. Uh, yeah, I think I'll take the, uh, the Jin. I think I'll only take one, though. It'd be a good idea to do that. What if that's Mirror Force? No, it isn't. And at least it's still 1900 attack points until the end of her turn. Oh, looks like I got a wide open chance! This might be my chance to win it! Yeah! <laughs> oh, man. That can be a pain in the ass if you're unlucky, like I said before. Now that you passed every stage of the examination, the limits on your deck have been lifted. 
In other words, you can pretty much use three of any card you want. Even restricted and limited ones. Like, all you have to do is just go to your option. Card limit. Limited. Free. Limited. Free. And there you go. That's all you need to do. Eh, I'll just leave it as is, because there's nothing else for me to accomplish. I mean, I've done everything except unlock all the boosters. But in order to do that, you need to get a lot of duel points. And to get duel points, you obviously have to, well, duel. And as for these four symbols over there, I'll just put an explanation to them in the description. That way you'll know what to do if you want to do it yourself. So anyways, that's it. That's Yu-Gi-Oh! Stairway to the Destined Duel. I have nothing left to accomplish, so there we go. Anyways, this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play.